Hello everyone. Welcome to the Merchant Seaman community where men and women are not alone at sea because the Merchant Seaman community is here for he or she. Before I get started, please take 10 seconds, hit that like button, please subscribe, please leave a comment. Today we'll be talking about the, what to expect working entry level on your first ship as a wiper. So just to do a recap, of the three entry level positions. For the engine room is wiper, for the deck department is OS, ordinary seaman, and for the steward department or the kitchen department is steward assistant, or you'll see it labeled as steward department food handler. In this video, we'll only be talking about um, the wiper, wiper position in the engine room, but I'll do um, another video about um, what to expect and some of your responsibilities as an OS and a steward assistant on your first ship. I'll do a separate video for talking about uh, those other two entry level positions. Okay, so as a wiper, entry level, um, you're pretty much the janitor of the engine room. You'll be expected to keep the ECR clean, and the ECR stands for the engine control room. The engine control room is where you're going to meet at every morning um, for your morning meetings, and the chief engineer or the first engineer, they'll tell you what you um, will be doing for that day. Um, also, the ECR is where... Uh, they have all the computers and the motor controllers that control the ship's main engine, the diesel generators, and all the other machinery in the engine room. So in the ECR, you'll be expected to sweep and mop the deck, which on the ship we call the floor, uh, the deck. So you'll be expected to sweep and mop the deck in the ECR You'll be expected to uh, empty the trash cans out every day. Normally in the ECR, there'll be um, a coffee maker and it'll be a section, um, you know, where you go, where they go and um, make coffee. So you'll be expected, you know, to make sure there's enough paper cups, sugar, creamer, um, milk, um, coffee filters. And, you know, if there's any uh, coffee spills or um, just, you know, you're just going to pretty much keep that area clean. And some ships might even, you know, ask you to make coffee, you know. Also, you'll be expected to clean the engine room, the engine room's restroom. Uh, which on the ship we call the restroom, um, the head. So you'd be expected to, you know, make sure it's um, hand soap in there, make sure it's paper towels in there, make sure it's enough toilet paper in there, you know, clean the sink, clean the toilet in there, uh, just, yep, clean the mirrors, you know, just keep the, uh, the head clean. Also, you'll be expected to clean the machine shop. The machine shop is where the engine room keeps all of its uh, tools, all of its hand tools, all of its electric tools, um, pneumatic tools. Um, they also do welding inside of the machine shop. So you'll be expected to, um, you know, keep all the tools clean, organized in there. Um, there, there should be like um, several different toolboxes and uh, most of the time they're labeled like one draw might say um, hammers or another draw might say uh, screwdrivers so you know your job will be to make sure if the draw says hammers make sure it's hammers in there and they're organized if the screw says screwdrivers make sure that the screwdrivers are all organized and they're in their proper place um, Something else you'll be asked to do throughout the ship, 
or throughout the engine room, I'll say, um, they'll have um, a can that says um, oily rags and it'll be a can that says clean rags. So the clan can that says clean rags, you know, every day just make sure that they're filled up with clean rags. And every day um, at the end of the day, just make sure you empty out all of the cans that have uh, oily rags in them. Also, um, it's a lot of different machinery on in the engine room. It's a pretty big space. Um, you'll have an upper level, and on that upper level, that's normally where the ECR is and the machine shop. Then you'll have a middle level, and that middle level... Um, most of the time will be where the main engine is, the diesel generators, uh, and then you have a lower level. So you'll have, you know, different machinery on the lower level as well. So, and you'll be expected to keep all of those spaces um, clean, all of the decks clean. Um, if you see any uh, oil or grease on any of the machinery, you know, you take a clean rag, you know, you wipe it off. Um, a lot of this machinery in the engine room, they'll have small leaks. So let's say one machine that's leaking, you might have a, um, um, an empty coffee can that's catching the, um, the oil that's dripping. So, you know, you just keep an eye on it and, you know, make sure that that can doesn't overflow. It's normally not that bad of a leak where it's, you know, you have to literally sit there and watch it. But, you know, probably like once a day, you know, you have to empty that can out and then put it back. Um, also, yeah, on the ship, you can expect to, um, or in the engine room, um, you should expect to do a lot of uh, painting. Uh, they might ask you to paint the deck. They might ask you to paint the bulkhead, which um, on the ship, uh, we call the wall the bulkhead. They might ask you to paint a piece of machinery. They might ask you to paint um, certain tools that they keep uh, in the machine shop. They might ask you to paint paint those red. You know, put a little paint on it, paint it red. Certain tools that they keep in a different part of the engine room, they might ask you to paint those yellow. So uh, you know, those tools can stay separate. Um, they might also have you burn trash. Most of the time, the trash is in a brown paper bag, and you just have to go to the incinerator, and uh, it'll have a, a chute or a door on it. You just pull the door down, you take the bag of, a uh, small bag of garbage, you put it in the incinerator, you close the chute, and it's a button or a level, a lever that you pull, and you know to go down in the incinerator and be burnt. Um, stores, okay. You'll be expected to help out with stores. So basically, what we call stores is when we pull into a um, port, or sometimes a small. Um, a small ship will pull up next to us and bring us supplies. So stores is simply when the ship is getting supplies. So uh, let's say if the ship needs food or when the ship um, we need uh, we need certain supplies for the engine room, parts or whatever it may be. Um, you know, once those supplies come on board the ship, then you'll be expected to you know take the boxes or and you know just take them and put them where they belong um let's see what else are some of your responsibilities uh i think i think let me look at my notes here i think i think i covered everything i wanted to talk about um oh i know what else i wanted to talk about yeah so these companies you know they got smart meaning that you ha they they started giving different titles for the same entry level job. 
So meaning you have a wiper, which if you're a wiper, you primarily just stay in the engine room. Then they came out with another position called DEU. Um, it's still an entry level position, but it stands for deck engine utility. So that way, you know, the company can still use you in the engine room and do all the things I just mentioned, but they also can use you on deck. So whenever the ship is pulling into port, then you'll be called out to help uh, tie up the ship. And then whenever the ship leaves the dock, you'll be called out to help um, untie the ship. So, and then it's uh, one other position, but it's still considered entry level. It's called a um, goody, and goody stands for general utility deck or engine. So, it's the same thing. You'll still be doing all the different things I mentioned that a wiper would do, but then you also would be, you know, used on deck to um, help tie and un untie the ship when it comes um, in and out of uh, port. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys be kind to one another. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. You guys um, take care, help one another. And remember, if you don't like your life, don't wait for your life to change. Change your life. You guys take care. See you in the next video.